My beloved brothers and sisters, we were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He alone knows why He created us. Some might find it absurd that a human being like us created with such a sophisticated brain, with such beautiful posture, with such organs that are unmatched, and yet he or she only lives for a few years on earth and disappears. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for a believer, has responded to questions that may arise and have arisen as to why he created us. Where were we before he made us? And where is it that we are going to go? Because it is only with that knowledge that you begin to truly enjoy and cherish the life on this earth with its problems, with its hardships, with its difficulties, because you're a believer. If you do not believe and you do not want to look into what Allah himself has said about where you were, where you are and where you are going, you will never be able to understand and you won't enjoy truly because for you, it will be a rat race throughout your life. You will be running behind things that do not have deeper pleasure than a few moments. And this is why it's important for us to constantly lead our lives within the pleasure of Allah. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ we know this verse, we've heard this verse, we understand this verse. It means, I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me, except for them to worship me. When we hear this verse, many people think, what exactly does this mean? All it means is, I want you to lead your life exactly as I told you to lead it. You need to fulfill the obligations and stay away from the prohibitions. So fulfilling obligations, mashallah, we know, a lot of us know, we are here today, Masjid nur in Abuja, on this beautiful day of Friday, at this beautiful time of Jumu'ah, we have gathered in order to fulfill an obligation on us, because we know it's an obligation.